Big Slick here and today's project is to upgrade the firmware on this old Olympus C7070 Comedia digital camera vintage approximately 2004-2005 and we're going to update the firmware if it needs updated and since this is late 2022 that's quite a long ways away and we'll see if we can get it done with a minimum of effort the software that I'm going to use here is Olympus Viewer 3. This can still be downloaded if you do a Google search. You'll find download sites for it. And it comes with an older version of the camera updater software, which should allow it to update these old cameras. So we're going to give this a shot. Okay, the camera's connected. We'll turn it on. Take the cap off first. Okay, it's already being recognized here by the Viewer 3 software, but we don't want this part of it. So let's go ahead and pull up Action Professional. Okay, under Help, Update Camera. So you have to type in your password, Update Firmware, Next. And as you see, it's being recognized, and there is no newer version to update. Okay, here's another C7070 that I own, and I'm pretty sure that this one does need the firmware updated on. So we're going to go ahead and try this one, see if we can get an update on this one. Okay, the camera is connected. Let's try the update firmware. And as you see, this one can be updated. Current version 1.0, newer version 1.1. So let's go ahead and update it. I've already updated the other camera and I know this process does take a few minutes. Okay, once it says okay, the update has been applied. You click next. Now you can disconnect the camera and hit close. So what we'll do is we'll turn it off, turn it back on, now we'll go back to the menu here and try to update it again and just see what it says here. Update firmware, next, and as you see it's been updated 1.1 is the current version there's no newer version so that's how you update the firmware on an Olympus Comedia C7070 digital camera in the year 2022 here using Windows 10 64-bit I can tell you this process does not work as well using Windows 11 because in order to run this update program you actually have to disable some of the Windows 11 new security features that are exclusive to Windows 11. So you should use do this on a Windows 10 or older computer. With Windows 11 you're going to have to tweak some settings if you want to run this and then you'd have to re-enable those security settings afterwards. Thanks a lot. Bye.